And I don't really know what comes next I'm just doing my best Even though I'm so stressed out Everything just feels like a test That I feel so depressed When I can't seem to get out But something deep inside won't let me I do try to stay positive But I also stay real And this is fucking real right now Hi, welcome to me. Today's shop with me is gonna be a little bit different. Well, first of all, I'm not gonna be shopping for just myself. So it's gonna be a much bigger haul. I'm gonna be buying stock up stuff for my brother. Um, I wanna make it very clear, disclaimer, disclaimer, cause like some of it, I don't plan to eat at all because of what I'm gonna be buying. Don't yell at me in the comments about that, please and thank you. <laughs> so I had my brother send me over some money and I'm gonna pick up stuff for him because it'll be way cheaper for me to buy some of this stuff over at the discount store for him in bulk and you know stock up for him versus him buying stuff as needed at like a regular grocery store i'll also be getting some things for myself i'm not exactly sure what the stock is like there it's been about three weeks since i did the big walmart haul and i haven't gone any kind of shopping since <laughs> but there's like some things that i do want to get and uh, again it's like i may also hit up the aldi for some more cottage cheese um and a couple other things potentially i'm not sure because the aldi is near the discount store it's gonna depend on timing and a few other factors um but yeah i'm excited i'm like nervous about timing because it's about 4 30. i had like a two hour recorded video interview that i just got done oh my god it was so draining um it's for a project that i'm working on like what was recorded y'all will probably never see but you know fingers crossed wish me luck that this goes the way that I think it's going to. So yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and get started with a shop with me today. Hey. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm just kidding. Um, before that, uh, today I'm also going to be test driving these bad boys uh, before I start my new job in a couple weeks from now. Um, so a lot of you really liked these shoes and I'm glad because I think I was being a little hard on myself because they're just, they're orthopedic flats. A lot of comments were like, their shoes are cute, the shoes are cute. And like, as I was editing it and like I've been looking at them more, I'm like, I think these are cute. And I was just being hard on myself. Um, but I think they'll be great for a professional environment. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully they're gonna be comfortable. So, and my toe is healed enough now that I think it's not too big of a deal. But um, I haven't been wearing them because my toe still hurt. It's been like over a month since I stubbed my toe. And my toe still hurts a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> my toe still hurts a little bit so anyway um also i have the ugliest fucking pimple on my nose today hate it here it's well covered under the makeup actually um and i feel like I've, i like cried some of my makeup off oh <laughs> uh, yikes let's go ahead and do the shop with me all right so we're just gonna go ahead and get started i always like to take a bit of a survey of the land if you will I found this chocolate. I ended up getting one bar of it because I didn't have like the added sugars. I thought it would be interesting to chop up and put in things. So I did end up putting one of those in the cart, very chaotically thrown as per usual. So the, they have these bins at this discount store and the other one, I think this one was kind of a bust. Um, I just kind of dug around a little bit, tried to see what was there. I don't, yeah, I don't think I even got anything from that specific. Oh no, I did. I got two Dunkaroos. I got a package of these uh, salt-free, plain, cardboard-ass rice cakes. Um, I found some good uses for them. I got these for my brother. Um, this is something that my mom makes a lot, is the ham and au gratin potatoes. So I'll be making that for him here probably in the next day or so. Because, y'all, I've been marathon cooking since these hauls. My God. So, um, yeah, I was just kind of looking, trying to figure out the flavors. I'm not a salt and vinegar person got some cashews hell yeah let's go um try to dig through all the candy oh my god yes i forgot <laughs> that i got those uh those cashews are fucking phenomenal uh that flavor is amazing so i did get four of the cool whips um i threw most of them in the freezer just so that way i have them uh in hand on stock and then i got super stoked because i saw tortillas and i'm like looking around i'm like okay i see all the orange labels where are my like my colors the blues the whatevers and i'm looking and looking and i see like the only blue is in reference to like some kind of corn tortilla and there's like no low carb no minis no nothing i'm like well fuck that so i did get four more bags of oat flour because they're still there for 50 cents a bag can't argue with that 
I got one pack of Oreos because I wanted it for toppings of fluffy yogurt. This was like two weeks ago and I still have that pack of Oreos. I was interested in trying um, these, but I realized there was four servings in a bag and I was like, fuck that. And then I ended up getting four cans of this awesome tomato sauce. I made a really amazing marinara. I believe that video may have already come out. Um, depending on the order here, I might shuffle things around. We'll see. So I'm looking around and I, the, what I ended up getting my brother was like some really crappy quality fritter thingies. I'm, I was actually really bummed. I felt bad because that was $10. This was like a mixture of chicken or I don't think it, I don't know if it was specifically this one. I don't remember which one I actually grabbed. It was like a mixture of breadcrumbs and chicken coated in breadcrumbs and like they were I tried a bite and I had to like throw away my piece they were not good um I got two more of the supreme pizza melts y'all know when they have these I like to get them they I think they're so tasty they satisfy satisfy that craving for frozen pizza that I get sometimes um and, and a lower po portion and then of course I got some dino nuggies I got uh, one slice of steak here as like a special treat um and then I got these breadsticks for my brother. Um, I did honestly try one or two of these. They're pretty fire. He had the rest of them though, but those were really, those were good. Um, these suck. These are these are so bad. Um, I don't even know if I would pay ninety nine cents for them. Um, I did get two of each. They are they are not good. D don't buy this. I I actually am imploring you not to buy that. Um, and then I got a bag of fries, again, for my brother. Uh, he's really into waffle fries. He loves them, so having them in the house means he's not buying them out. Um, I got a little more bacon uh, because we've been... I think we currently have uh, two more of those in the freezer as of right now. So I've, I've made bacon once since I recorded this. And then this is for my brother. I got him a major stock up on turkey bacon. Um... Oh, I need to defrost some and make some for him. Yeah, I should do that before I start my new job. Anyway, off topic. I <laughs> I got two boxes of the egg bites, uh, basically one for each of us. They were $10 for six and a half pounds of egg bites. Um, they're awesome. Highly recommend. Those were just the cheese ones. Those really only come in a, in a catering size. I got these uh, bite-sized cauliflower flore florets. Um I haven't actually tried them, but I've used them in a recipe, and they were a really great size. Like, I'm glad I got as many as I did. I also got a bag of these French-style green beans. Never had French-style, so I only got one because, you know me, I'm weird about my green beans, but I've been getting better about it. Um, so I walk up here, and I'm like, oh, I don't really see anything. And then up in the corner, there's a Ratio's yogurt, strawberry, and granola. Um, they ended up being a bit higher calorically than I expected um, because of the granola on top, but... Um, they're really easy and I plan on using the ones I have left in my fridge for my lunches at work Just kind of peeking around here. I didn't end up getting this. I hate grapefruit. Not my vibe Then I turn around and I see it the diet peach tea snapple And they're like 15 calories for the whole pint or whatever I got a few they're really good, but honestly, I'm not a huge tea person So I tend to mix them in with things. I ended up getting two packs of the lemon splashes because I was spending so much money, I honestly kind of wanted to get more, but I didn't. I just went ahead and um, went back and forth and, and got two. Uh, I, I really enjoy having these as like a pool drink, and I'll just add a squirt of Mio into them, and it just makes it even better. I ended up getting three packs of these because they were three for a dollar for chocolate-covered cashews. They're okay. I honestly think I'm not a huge fan of chocolate-covered cashews. So I was like, oh, cool, more tortillas. And I ended up did, I, I did end up finding like a few low carb options, but they were like, either they didn't get any in or someone came and bought them the fuck out because there was really no options. So I knew my brother really liked the mini ones. So I did get him some of the sweet Hawaiian ones. I don't really eat those because they're so small. Um, and I do have low calorie tortillas, so it's just not worth it. Um, and then I did go ahead and get a certain amount. I think I got like nine bags of these tortilla chips. I still have, I think, all of them except one, maybe two. Because, um, again, that's something where I do plan to um, pack lunches with those. And having the pre-portioned bags just really helps me prevent any kind of 
unpleasant eating habits that I, you know, may engage in. So this is me. The produce was pretty not there that at that time. This is me checking the other side, and I think this is where I found some low carb options. Um, I don't. Their low carb whole wheat is probably my least favorite, but it's what they had. So. And then I went ahead and went through to try to rifle through these bins. I don't think there was much in here um, in terms of things that are healthy. Like, there's a lot of shit in here that I would enjoy. Oh, yeah, there was a cashew stick. Um, and it landed on the floor. Um, and then, yeah, I spent a total of, I think, like $150, $1.92. So I'm on a kind of significant time crunch. So I'm just going to go ahead and talk and not look at the camera. It is hot as fuck. Uh, and I want to stop off at Aldi to get some spinach and cottage cheese and maybe some of the salmon burgers. It's going to be very quick running. And I'm not even going to bring a bag or a cart with me to slow me down. And also to limit how much money I'm going to spend. Because, oh my God, I just did some fucking damage. But the guy that was at the cashier's, was at the cash register, he's like new. I've never seen him before. And he told me he's like newer. He's one of the newest employees. And I just hadn't seen him before. So it's also been weeks since I've been there, right? And so I'm at, I'm sitting there like, I'm walking around shopping and I'm getting near the end of my shopping experience and I hear, uh, I like your sunglasses and I look up and there's this really cute guy telling me that he likes my sunglasses and I was like, thanks. And I kept shopping and like, I, I saw him like, still looking at me and I'm like, no way. Like, this is just too close to the Wendy's thing. And I'm like, just, I'm just like, no. So I'm just like doing my thing. And then I get up there and we're making small talk and he's like cute. I'll say this. I think he's cute. I don't know what he thinks about me, but um, we were chit chatting and having a grand old time. So we're chit chatting and like, I'm like a little irritated at like how sweaty I am cause it's hot today. So I was like sweating before I even got in there. And then I'm walking around, like I did a, I did a full scan of the entire store and um, and I had to unload everything and they bagged up everything for me and by the end of it I'm like oh my god like it's just so hot today and then he like like as he's, after he hands me after he hands me our, my receipt he grabs like an envelope or something and starts fanning me and I, so I was just like oh like you know we have a little moment it's fun it was cute he said something about like being a rookie or something like he kind of like fumbled on his words a little bit and I was like what and then he was just kind of like never mind I'm like what was that moment you know I don't know but um, he asked me for my name and then I left. <laughs> so that's the story. Um, that was fun. That was a fun experience. I've never spent that much money and I got a couple things. Like, they've had those steaks for a while and I've wanted to get one and I finally just like let myself do it. Um, Cause like $6 for a single piece of meat that size to me is a lot of money and um, but I got a couple of things that like I really wanted, like the dino nuggets are for me. Oh, and the shoe update, uh, my pinky toe hurts like a motherfucker, dude. Like, oh my God, I hope that that gets better. I don't know if I need to like, I might need to wear like uh, ankleless socks or something with these. Cause I think my pinky toes are gonna be raw by the time I get home. Cause they're hurting, dude. Like they're hurting. And so I don't love that. I don't know, is, it, is this my turn? Is this my turn? I can't tell. Yes, it is, okay. I did this without a, a GPS for probably like the first time because I know where it is, but it's hard to tell the turn in because you don't really see the sign for the Aldi till it's too late. So I'm gonna wait for my arrow. All right, so here we go in, into the Aldi. No cart this time. Picking up some spinach to start. It's always there right at the entrance, and it's such a good price. Like, you just got to get some spinach when you're at Aldi. So this is where I made a really grave decision. You see those, you see those keys? Yeah, that's going to be important for the plot later. Um, I went ahead and grabbed three things of cottage cheese, threw that in a bag, um, and then I grabbed my spinach, just the spinach, and then I walk away to go shop for the next day. Oh, you saw that? Because I sure did. Not at the moment, but I digress. Well, again, we'll get to that. Uh, so I'm checking out the freezers because this is the area where I saw the, the salmon burgers for the first time. But one of the last times I had been, I realized that they, you know, 
store them actually in the other part normally but i saw these the frozen pomegranate seeds and i'm very intrigued i didn't get them this time but i want to try them out for sure so then i come and see here the chipotle steam burgers and the teriyaki went ahead got both because i wanted to try by the way the teriyaki steam burgers are fire i tried those on a live um dude this line was so long this was how far back we were so i ended up seeing they had coconut oil some drink squeezy things a bunch of other stuff i ended up getting way more than i meant to and the total came out to a little like about 50 dollars bro my feet hurt real bad holy shit i just got done with all these and i ended up spending way more than i meant to because they had me waiting all the way back in the wrong fucking aisle i found i got one sugar-free vanilla pudding to try out of, of aldi brand that was the only sugar-free flavor they had but i wanted to see if it was any good they had almond flour they had different drink things that i'm gonna try if i like them then i can buy more of them um a couple other things um I ended up getting two flavors of the salmon patties because I think I forgot they had a teriyaki flavor. And so I'm checking out and I'm like gathering myself to come outside and my normal habit is to put my keys in my hand and I'm realizing I don't have my keys on me and I'm like, I know I had my keys. And I'm like panicking. And so I, I walk outside and I look in the car and I don't see them in the ignition. I don't see them anywhere in the car. And I'm like, think, 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 think. And then suddenly I had a flash of a memory that I, I vlogged so I sat my keys down to put cottage cheese in my bag and then I forgot to pick them back up so I had to walk all the way back in all the way back to the back I left my keys in the cooler <laughs> clearly I'm they're here I'm fine now I need to get home because that line took forever and I'm worried about the frozen stuff from the discount store so I'm gonna um rush home but it's already like 6 6 15 I'm gonna get home by about 6.30, 6.40, uh, and the produce shop closes at seven. So um, I'm not gonna have time to go to the produce shop today. And also my feet hurt really fucking bad. Um, I might need to get some ankleless socks for me to wear these to work. Cause I do feel one of my feet, it's digging a little bit in the back. And it's like doing that thing where it's just pinching my pinky toe, like everything else fits great and they feel supportive enough, but my feet are hurting. I'm hoping if I like wear, keep wearing them a little bit here and there, um, I'll break them in more. But boy, my feet hurt. And that was making, and like the pain was making me sweat more on top of the heat. So, oh my God, I spent like almost $50. I spent like basically $200 today um, for me and my brother. Um, and I'm also just trying to buy some things to like, um, set up for, for when I'm like first working. I, first couple weeks, I don't want to have to worry about shopping. So I'm going to be doing some timed stuff and I need to start doing some more batch cooking of things. I've got one, um, thing pre-frozen, the, one of the, some of the gnocchi that I made. And, um, yeah. Oh my God. I am tired and I am in pain. I gotta go. Hi, welcome to me. No, this is not, no, this isn't a new video. Rosie, duh, hello. Okay, so today is July 5th. I'm filming my part two shop with me like section because I just felt like my first shop with me wasn't enough <laughs> content. Um, so today is like almost two weeks from when I filmed the last segments on June 24th, if I remember correctly. Yes, I, it was June 24th. And so today I'm here at the produce shop. I'm so excited! Ah! I have not had sweet potatoes in such a long time. Like I had three little ones sitting and I made some sweet potato fries that didn't go well because I didn't know what I was doing. And so they just weren't, they didn't hit right. So I haven't had like good ass sweet potatoes in a hot minute. And so y'all are gonna be like, Rosie, put down the sweet potatoes and I'm gonna be like, no. But we're gonna get some produce and I'm gonna run down to the discount store. I actually just checked Facebook, like, I'm not kidding, five minutes ago. They, I got a notification, the place I want, the, the, the specific store I wanna go to, 
they just made a post saying that they've got two trucks that they're onboarding. So I am going earlier in the day um, because I did schedule my Walmart pickup order for a specific time. Um, so this the end of this video will then be me doing a grocery haul. It's not nearly as extensive as the last one that I did. There's just some things that I wanted to get that I got for me packing lunches and just I, I'm going to be basically trying to not go shop again like for another two to three week period kind of like how I did last time so that's why I'm hitting all these spots and I want to go to the discount store specifically because I'm crossing my fingers they still have stock of frozen vegetables because I'm hitting critically low levels of frozen veggies and um, that's not good for my overall health and wellness so yeah we are gonna go and do all that stuff so let's hang out hello bestie reunited at last i walk in here and i'm like shell shocked if you've seen me vlog in here this is obviously very different i've they've never had the layout look like this it's so much more efficient whoever's idea that was 10 out of 10. it, it was just a much better shopping experience but initially i was like whoa um, so I was looking here because I was interested in the pita stuff. I ended up not buying these, but I will in the future because I think I can like cut those up into small pieces and use those again for the adult lunchable style idea that I'm kind of interested in doing. This is something else. I vlogged these just because I wanted to remember them. This looks like tahini, I believe, or I, it says, I think it says uh, tahina. I don't know, but I was interested in that. Uh, so I get over to the produce and of course I stock up pretty heavily on some carrots. I've already processed these I turned them into carrot slices. Oh these like tiny skinny ass eggplants I was like, what is that when I first saw it? So I, I looked at them. I didn't buy it, but um, I shredded I shredded it and used um, the slicer the, So basically yeah the slicer and the shredder of that little uh, wound up thingy bobber um, I turned those into carrot slices for lunches and then shredded carrots for cooking and yeah, I got a lot of carrots. I did get a head of red cabbage as well. And then here we are. Oh, you beautiful bastards. I saw this and I like geeked because I did not realize maybe they've had this this whole time and I just didn't put it together um, until I saw them at the Parksdale. But I got those for me and my brother because he's really into those. So um, I also then went, hello sweet potatoes so i got two of the jumbo ones um because i really i actually last night made a like jacked up loaded sweet potato so freaking delicious um and then i grabbed some of the smaller ones for the lunches the regular kind of portion to prep all of that jazz the jumbo ones because of like the way i eat i will not be buying like tons of the jumbo ones and prepping uh those will be more like a treat kind of styled meal this is me taking a gander and then i see it and i freaked out i've been wanting to try these the donut peaches i had one and it wasn't the ripest but oh my gosh was it delicious i can't wait for them to ripen more so i'm trying to be patient um and then i did get the yellowest bananas they had which weren't very yellow uh i felt up the grapes uh they were a good price but and some of them were kind of crunchy but i ultimately didn't get them this time um and then I went ahead and got over to, of course, the Honeycrisp. They have such great prices for such good quality Honeycrisp apples at this store. I got, I think, like five of these. I'm so excited to make a fluffy yogurt to dip my apple slices into. Bruh, that shit is so good. <laughs> and then I was taking a look here and I really wanted the strawberries, but the price was not right. And then here I am at the other discount store. So we're hitting all the main spots today in this in this shop with me. Of course, we hit the bins. This is the six for a dollar bin. Um, lots of candies, cookies to sort through, but they also intermix protein nuts there. I haven't tried the spicy Cajun pistachios yet. I did end up getting a couple because they were limited and I saw the Quest s'mores. I did not get that Atkins bar. Kind of wish I had because if I didn't like it, my brother probably would have. So then I get to this bin and this bin was wild. You see, you see those, those are all empty wrappers. And I eventually figured out that they had a lot of busted containers. It was like, that must've been from the same batch and they must've had like some kind of packaging defect, but all the cashews were basically at the bottom. And then those are my favorite barbecue ones. Um, found another pack. I was like, yes, the sweet cayenne cashews, bro, that shit is fire as fuck. Um, and then the, these smart cakes are 
interesting. They're good. The texture's amazing, but they do taste a little bit like Lysol, just not derogatory. <laughs> um, and I didn't get those because they were Kellogg. Um, and I was just, again, kind of pawing through here, trying to find things that I thought would be good. Um, it's like, again, this is one of the things where you have to really work for it. And so I did, I, there was a decent turnout in, in the nut department. There is a birthday cake. So yeah, this is all I got. These were all six for a dollar. I got, I think I ended up having to throw in one or two more things because yeah, I got a second smart, smart cake. This bin is 10 for a dollar. So everything in here is 10 cents. There's tons of, uh, I didn't end up getting those if I remember correctly. Um, there are a ton of like, what do you call them? The chicharrones and the uh, sunflower seeds. So, and I'm not really big on either of those. I'm not against sunflower seeds, but the shells, I just, I don't know. Especially with working and stuff, I didn't want to bother. I did get one pack of that because it's uh, pre-portioned calories-wise. They were really good. Like, I'm, I may end up, when I see those, I may end up get throwing, I might end up grabbing a couple. So that way I can just pack them or whatever i got these to try i thought they would be good with a lunch of uh, certain kind of pairings i did get one of these they are really strongly seasoned i already tried them to be honest with you um i think they'd be an amazing sandwich chip like chips to put on a sandwich by themselves a little intense uh, i did get a pack of the salami for a dollar fifty for like adult lunchable kind of vibes they did have uh the smaller sized ones for 250 but i ended up just getting the, the cheaper version um and then I did get one box of popcorn. I didn't get those, but I was really intrigued by them uh, initially. And then I was like, yeah, no, definitely not doing that. Um, and I was just kind of, again, really sorting through here. I didn't get those, but this, that's what I'm, I like to show these things as I sort to kind of show you guys when you see these kinds of bins and stuff. Sometimes it is really worth it to rifle through them because um, you, you strike gold, honestly, a lot of the time and um there was in this one not as much i did end up getting these i'm excited to try them some of those bigger packs i'm going to split into two portions um just because they are like a little oversized for my goals and i did get a thing of the pineapple tidbits and then i came through here again lots of corn nuts candies um trail mix there were whole almonds but i'm not a huge almond girl like in general I see a cashew, I buy a cashew. That's how I operate. Uh, we got two packs of that. Hell yeah, let's go. Um, and I'm still sorting through here. I'm just not big into the oh, hot chipotle and stuff like that. But the peanut butter trail mix is the best one. And then I kind of stopped vlogging at this point. <laughs> oh, it is hot. Oh, you know what I should have worn in there? My fucking neck fan. I, for I brought it. I forgot to wear it. I have never spent that little in the grocery store. I'm so proud of myself. I only spent $16. I got tons of stuff that I can throw into my lunches, but they had zero, zero of the frozen veggie stock. So if they ever get that big of a shipment in ever again, I'm gonna go even harder than I did last time because hot damn, them prices were good. It has been a hot minute since I've been here, so I'm not that surprised, but they had so much and such a variety, I thought maybe they still have it. The only things they had were the quinoa power blends and the rice power blends for the bird's eye, and I'm just like, the bird's eye frozen veggies stuff, you know, like the frozen packages, and I was just like, no, like, I don't, that's not what I'm trying to do with those, you know what I mean? They didn't have a single frozen vegetable or fruit. Um, and I asked a guy, he said there were no nuts, no frozen veggies that weren't already there on the truck. So if I get on Facebook and they say something else, I'm gonna be pissed. I don't think I have a light with me and I, uh, I don't care. Cause I just unloaded everything by myself, all three loads, including that heavy ass box of produce. So I'm quite proud of myself. Cause I also realized as I was doing it near the end, I was like, this shit's getting easier. Because, like, obviously, I think most people, it's like, you do tasks like that, you don't even think twice about it. But for me, things like this were sometimes so in insurmountably hard. And, like, I'm in a decent amount of pain right now, too. Because I didn't sleep last night. I don't even think I've mentioned that yet. Um, but I don't think I showed every little thing I got at the discount store. Um, just because at some point near the very end, when I realized that there weren't going to be any frozen vegetables, 
I got super bummed. So I just didn't pick a whole hell of a lot more. They had one of these left. So I got it. I got this for my brother, but they're just chicken fritter patties for sandwiches. But he, this is this is shit he loves to eat. And for six dollars for this many, I was like, I picked it up for him. I got this because it's a light vinaigrette. It was low calorie. I'm gonna give it a shot if I don't like it. It was really cheap. Okay, I still had some of these, so I only bought one because they were only a dollar. Um, and then this is like all the stuff I got at the discount store. I pretty much showed everything. Um, I don't know how much of this footage I'll be keeping in, to be honest with you. Um, but I did end up getting a second one of these um, because this is good with the uh, uh, cheddar seasoning. And I thought this might be better, but it was 25 cents more. So I just got one of each. Yeah, I got tons of nuts. I got um, a couple treat bags of potato chips. I'm so curious to try these. I'm so curious to try these. The texture feels fucking phenomenal through the packaging. This entire container is less than 100 calories. It's a keto, gluten-free snack. I hope it doesn't taste like ass. But I love lemon things. I'm going to be putting those in the snack bin, so I'm just going to set that over there. And I went ahead and I got a 12-pack of the Luna Bars for lunches and stuff. I think, I, I think I'm out entirely. Yeah, I think I'm out entirely. Um, I just went ahead and got the whole 12, 12 kit caboodle. Um, I got some uh, guacamole for different toasts, whatever. This will be things an easy thing for me to throw in with lunches. Again, like if I'm doing the adult lunchable style thing. And again, for work lunches, I did, did a repurchase of these because these are fantastic. I don't get triggered to binge on them. Uh, they help satisfy the crunchy chippy cravings that i have i got some more mios and crystal lights because um i've been dramatically going through the non-caffeinated versions versus the caffeinated ones um so i needed that for a bit more balance i got a smaller cholula because i just was like i was going through and making so slight adjustments to things because the bigger bottle that i wanted to get is like seven to to eight dollars at walmart so i got this one for under four dollars for now i'll definitely be getting a bigger bottle in the future i went ahead and got a repurchase of my protein granola because i'm running low and with the cereal and the stuff that i eat this with i honestly make this bag stretch pretty good because i tend to not eat a full serving at a time um but it adds a little bit of extra protein it adds a nice crunch to stuff and i love peanut butter flavored anything as y'all know um, I went ahead and got a hot rotisserie chicken, so I will be having the wings and probably the wings and legs because these chickens are small. Um, and I specifically the wings and legs don't have a lot of meat on them. Um, and then I, I like to save the thigh and I will be shredding the chicken breast while it's hot. So let me set that over there. And then they had to substitute, which is whatever. I actually, you know... I do have that can canister of the roasted red peppers. I might just slice those, dice those up and um, prep that so I can just add that on top of the garlic part too. So it'll be both and it'll be delicious. And then, oh, I must have only gotten two Greek yogurts. Yeah, that's right. I got three cottage cheeses and two Greek yogurts. I thought I got three of each. Um, I still have a one that has a decent amount in the fridge but again i just wanted to have these because first of all this doesn't even expire till august and these will be consumed before august trust and believe like mid-august it, it says here so i and if, if i don't have as much cottage cheese i will be relying on this more for recipes and i'll be coveting the amount of cottage cheese that i have in there right now um so yeah that's what i got um for the pickup order i have been doing really good it's been a long time since i've had a soda because i haven't been eating out and i haven't had soda in the house and these help with that for me and these are my favorites the berry pomegranate mio and the strawberry lemonade crystal light these are my faves um i want to get more but again money's an issue for me as of now it's it's very temporary and um things are all gonna even out soon 
but um i am officially dead broke but all my needs are met and i'm so blessed for that i have safe housing i have a vehicle i have gas in the car um i have a supportive family i have so much to be thankful for so i know i have mentioned some of the stress and my fears around things and there was a couple times on lives where i think i was just like I, w I was like worried I was venting too much. Being laid off has been stressful, but you know what? I'm here and I am so grateful um, for all the opportunities and blessings I have in my life. And the fact that I have this such a large variety of food to help me stay healthy and keep me fed. And you know, money might be a stressor but i have certainly been personally in much worse situations and i know there's a lot of people out there with a lot less and a lot more financial burden and so um i am thankful and grateful for the life that i currently have i've been filming a lot talking about my past and i've been digging around a lot in my past recently for re re recalling stories of regarding mormonism um something crazy happened and I filmed a story time about a specific situation in my life and um and then of course just like so many other experiences that I've had I've had a lot of dark times in my life and I feel like I've really escaped that section of the book of my life I feel like you know I've had my first act in life or you know what I'm saying like if you break it up like in a play and it was a dark, dark place, a dark story. And I, I've really come out of that and learned and grow and have grown so much. I'm sorry, I'm really tired. So I'm like struggling to form a coherent thought. If I end up going to do the Aldi pickup order or anything in the next couple days, um, I will attach that to this video. If not, I'll save it for another day. But, um... I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate for the opportunity to express myself and my journeys here. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are, a wonderful evening, and stay true. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops